Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit about um, writing letters really quickly. If you uh, watch the other, uh, the basic uh, movies in the, in the uh, step two um, of the Paperless Express, you saw that I made this, the letterhead. And here's the letterhead here. I'm going to open it up. And here it is. It's uh, addressed to Mr. Jones. This is the basic thing. Now, what I want to do is I want to, um, I want to use it. I want to use this for some uh, somebody else. I want to change this and uh, mail it to somebody else. Now, I like to do work once and type things once. And the idea is, well, at least the, the aspiration is to never have to type them again. Now, with the tool, with um, the scrapbook inside the toolbox, that is possible. Now, I recommend using it right away from the first letter that you write and everything you ever look at in Word using the scrapbook. Now, where is it? This is the formatting palette. This is the objects palette. This is the citations palette if you're writing them. Um, this is the reference palette. Now, this is the one we're concerned with here. This is the scrapbook. Now, if I was writing, say I was writing this to not Mr. Jones, to somebody else, I would simply follow the procedure from the scrapbook and get let's say this and I would hover over here and I would copy um, mailing label close this out highlight this press command V get it in there uh, it looks a little uh, and then I would go in and fix it and we're ready to go and let's say dear mister this would be a judge so dear judge presiding let's say if this was a vehicle in traffic I didn't know the judge now, what I've done already is I've loaded up the scrapbook with some boilerplate language for this type of letter. Here it is, a VTL intro. And what I have to do is just take this, drag it out, and let it go. And there's, my, there's the intro to my letter. Now, to get stuff into the scrapbook, what... What this is essentially, I'll say with, explain what the scrapbook is. It is a um, a clipboard application. There now, the Mac has other things that um, other applications that you can buy that that do roughly the same thing. I use this, this program, this application called iClip, and I have a whole bunch of different clip sets, and I save things to that, and I, I have you know maybe a couple dozen of them. And it keeps everything available for me when I'm, you know, it's helpful when I'm you know, working on websites or doing anything that I need to get the same information again and again. Well, that's where the scrapbook is. And you can make it by, cat and you can use things for categories and so forth. And you can clip stuff to there from stuff you're working on. You can, uh, you can clip stuff to there from entire files. And there are a bunch of things you can do. To get some, the basic idea here is to, when you're doing work, Try to capture as much of it as you can. So if, if I was actually writing a letter, what I would do is I would go through all my old letters and I would just highlight stuff like this and click Add. New clipping, I would say it's a double click on it. That's how you rename stuff on a Mac very often is when you want to, if you want to change the name of something, you just double click on it and it often uh, gives up the um, cursor. So, so we call this VTL. And there it is. I already have I already have it here once, so I'm not gonna go much further than that. Now I click I click on I'm gonna want to organize these things right away. Now take the time the first time to get it done and you never have to do it again. So click on uh, on categories. Now if you just click this button, categories, let's see what happens. Assign categories. Alright, that's good. Vehicle and traffic. Okay. And now it's in that category. So if I'm writing a vehicle and traffic letter, I just go category is vehicle and traffic, and then just my VNT stuff shows up. Or if it's writing a will or writing well, actually whatever, um, it doesn't. There's no limit on what you can, on what you can, uh, how many you can put in here. So you can put as many as you like, and you can uh, use it that way. Now, of course, to get, you'll notice that when you have to have something clicked in this pane for these things to light up. So if you want to do something with categories here. I changed the VNT of vehicle and traffic is obviously not the one that Word loads up. They load up some stuff for you, but cl simply click Edit Categories and go in there and say you want to change this to something. You just click on that and see, maybe this is a uh, Wills, and you know you can change the color if you want. 
orange, let's say, and then now you have your categories. So what you can do is you can include as much information as you want. Like so let's say I wanted to include this entire entire letter. You want to do an entire letter. You add this. New clipping, we'll call it entire letter. Okay. Click out, we'll close this out, and we'll close this out. Don't save. And then we'll spark up a new letter. And we will press Control A and delete the whole thing. And now let's see if we can get it back. Go to the toolbox, go to the scrapbook, entire letter. There it is. Roll it out. And there we have it. That's the entire letter. That's how fast it is. You can put as much information as you want. Computers can control quite a bit. Like this is this is um between using this template and using this method for um <clears throat> organizing your uh your letters, I think you can probably automate most most everything you do. Um and then you can go in and you know go in and change it. And I highly recommend once you change it, then you resave it as a new clipping so you never have to so you can capture that work as well. So that's the scrapbook, and I think the scrapbook is really great if you're using uh it's so good that I might even do um the Windows version for 2007. It's called Quick Parts. It functions uh, much the same way, but it looks a little different, and it's actually a little trickier to get to, um, and a little trickier to make make work than on than than, than uh, on the Mac. But if you insist on using Windows, um, I think you should definitely look into uh, the Quick Part Gallery. Maybe I'll make some movies on that as well. But if you're with me in the Paperless Express already in the in the last few minutes um, in this series. In the step two series, you've got a letterhead, you've got um, a really easy way to put in addresses, and now you have a pretty much, I guess it would be like a hot doxer, I guess. It would just really, really get you going as far as this is concerned. Like I said, I would take a few minutes to go through all my old letters and actually copy and paste all of this stuff as much as I could and just simply never have to do it again.